Hey there, it's Rich with Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California. And uh, I've got a short tutorial or a, just a review um, of an issue with uh, the Godox X-T-X1 uh, trigger. As you can see, this is one that gives uh, TTL and it gives uh, high-speed sync. Um, and it's got a screen on it, which is fine if you're looking at eye level, but it's going to be hard to see on the phone. But if you have this trigger and you're using a camera on a tripod about this high, you will see. You cannot see the screen when it drops below eye level. And again, you really can't see it on this video. But that's a problem because every time I want to um, see my screen with the X1 trigger... Let me get it on the camera first. Bear with me. There we go. Every time I want to see it. Now this is up even a little higher than a lot of my real estate shots. But as we all know, we can't move the camera. Now if I could lift the camera up, I could see the screen fine. So I use this trigger for events and weddings and if I need TTL. But for real estate, I don't want to have to do this. Anytime I see the trigger, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to look now. If I want to see the screen, I literally have to go bend over this far, be down this low to get eye level with the screen. Because once I'm out of eye level, you cannot read the screen at all. And it is an issue. Uh, it was for me and it was for a lot of other photographers. But I'm doing this to show you there is a, uh, a, a, a you can solve this issue. There's a fix. So instead of using the X1 trigger, um, and this is also the, uh, the trigger at, uh, this is the Godox one, uh, but Flashpoint has them and Cheetah has them also. So the fix is to go with this trigger, and this is a Godox also, but you can get it at uh, Adorama Flashpoint. This is the XT32 for um, Canon. Um, and this is made by Godox, but they make the Flashpoint. So if you just go to Adorama and put in um, 32 or XT32, uh, it will have their brand of it. And I recommend getting it Adorama because they have a good warranty and you can contact them with issues. But this is made for Canon and they don't have them for Nikon or Sony or any other brand yet. But that's not so bad because first of all, this does not do... Hi, uh, this is not to TTL through the lens um, TTL through the lens uh, flash metering. This does only high speed sync, but it supposedly won't do high speed sync unless it's on a Canon. But I use this on a Sony, and I don't have to change anything because I use it manually. Anyway, here is the really cool thing about this trigger, as you can see. There we go. It is angled, and this to me says that that uh, they knew there was an issue so they made this newer trigger um, they made it at an angle so when I put this on my camera I can see it standing up I can see it perfectly at this angle I can see it at this angle I can see it much better just a much better screen overall so um, that's the answer to this if you're doing real estate and you're gonna keep your camera on a tripod down low if you have the X1 trigger, you will find out that you cannot see it. I, you might be different than me, but I cannot see it unless I am all the way down looking at the screen at eye level. So, uh, and here's the two screens side by side. There we go. Right there. Okay. And uh, I know we're getting a lot of reflections in here. But uh, if we move this down, you know... You're starting to see it in the um, in the X1 trigger, but take my word for it. And if you have this trigger, the X1, and you notice that problem, just go get yourself um, an XT32 or go get the, the, uh, the Cheetah has it. Uh, go get the Adorama brand, whatever you get. Go get this because it's a great trigger, really easy to use. I actually like it better than this trigger. A little easier and a little um, better functionality for me. But uh, go get yourself this trigger. I don't know what they cost. I think they're 40, 50, 60 bucks, whatever. 
but it's definitely much better than this. And if you want TTL and you're doing weddings where the camera's up at your eye, you won't have a problem seeing the screen on this. It's only when the camera is down low. I promise you, every single time you're going to do it, you're going to have to bend over like this to see your screen. And personally, I'm not going to do that. So anyway, Rich Bound Photography saying XT32 is the way to go to avoid that. And here's the X1. And uh, whatever you get, enjoy it. Uh, leave me feedback, uh, thumbs up, whatever you want, and uh, check out the rest of my YouTube channel for real estate related videos. And I'm going to start doing some other product uh, reviews, and we got some big stuff coming next year. Anyway, talk to you later. Rich Bound Photography, saying see you later.